Hi, I'm George, and in this Photoshop Elements video, we'll be taking this picture here and brightening it up, adding a bit more color to it, and taking it from this up to that. And it's fairly easy to do, just a few simple tricks. The first thing I'll do here is just to remove all of these other layers in here. Let's just grab all of this stuff and hit the trash can. There we go. And we're back to the original photo. Now, I like to make a backup copy and keep the background safe, the original photo safe. So I'll just right click on this and duplicate layer choose OK. And we'll work on that layer instead of working on this layer. So I always have that as a safety backup. OK, let's start off by just fixing this picture a little bit. Notice we have these kind of weird dotty things happening, kind of, kind of dot dash dot stuff happening in our hair. That's an artifact left by somebody who has sharpened the picture too much. I got this picture online, but I know what they did in here. They used a trick. It's up here at the filter and you come down here to other and use the high pass and you can use this in a certain way to sharpen up details but if you go too far you get this kind of a weird effect happening so you need to fix this first it's easy to do we're just going to do blur the hair out just a touch but very carefully so for that go over here and we'll grab the blur tool which is right here i have my set with a soft edge brush mode is normal my size is 60 pixels for this picture the size will change of course depending upon the size of your picture and I have the strength at about halfway down, 50%. And then just brush along the hair and follow the direction of the hair. And that's all you need to do. We're blurring it just enough to blur out all of that kind of weird spotty stuff that's happening in there. You can stay away from the jacket. That's not important. We only care about the hair in here. And I'll just take it clear around and we'll smooth that hair out and it'll look a lot more natural after this. So a little bit out there, I'll get those outside pieces as well. And go over all of the hair and just make sure you follow the direction of the hair as you're doing this. And it will then look very good, very clean and give a vastly improved picture. This one step alone is going to fix this picture. This really is the biggest problem with it is this over sharpening that somebody did on this. Just getting a little bit over anxious, I think, on their sharpening, but that's okay. We can forgive them on that because aside from that, I think the picture is very nice. And we'll go clear around here and just finish up on that. Now there's a few spots in the face as well. We can already see how much this has improved the picture. If I just show our background again, and there's the original, and here is the cleaned up version. You see it's a much better picture now that solves really most of the problems with the photograph right there. But we'll go further. So a little bit of the same problem, just peeking into the face here. So I'm just going to go carefully go over the face again, just following the contours, any place where it's a little bit weird like that. I'm not doing much, just little short strokes. And that cleans the face up. I think that looks good now. Let's double check that. Okay, face is all retouched. Maybe a little bit right there. There we go. Let's now separate the face here, the portrait out onto its own layer so that we can adjust the subject and the background separately. And for that, we'll go over here and grab a lasso tool. This is just my standard lasso tool. I have my feathering edge. You can set this at one. That should be fine. And then just make a quick and easy selection just outside of the subject. You don't have to be real close on this. Just a little ways up because we're not changing the background. We're just going to be brightening it up a bit and adding some color into it. We're not putting a different background in. So since this person is going on to the same background, we can be a little less precise on this and it's going to be just fine. Okay, go back to the beginning point. There we go. Click on Refine Edge. And you can see right up here, there's my brush size right now. It's at a 54 and that's good for this picture. I'll set Smart Radius and I'll put that at one pixel just for a little bit of help on that. Leave everything else alone. And then this brush right over that seam right there, that kind of connecting area where you're seeing that red background going into the figure. Now the red background is over here under the view mode and that's right here where it says overlay. That's what I'm using to get that red background. It's really easy to see this way. And then just do this clear around the whole figure. Do it in little short movements like that. Don't try to do the whole thing all at once. If it doesn't quite work in some spots, we'll clean this up in just a moment once this fast step is done again just clear around like that there we go once that's finished 
Go over here to Output 2 and set this down to New Layer with Layer Mask. Choose OK. There's a new layer. It hides that layer. If I hide this layer, we can see now there it is. We've separated up the subject. Now notice that it's not really clean on the outside edge. Not really that critical in here. We'll do a little bit of cleanup on that. That's on our layer mask right here. Click on the layer mask side. Make sure you see that light blue outline right there. And then black hides, white shows. So just grab your paintbrush. Set it at a soft. Here's my brush size. That's at 61 pixels. That's fine for this. And it's at black. And we're going to be painting black right onto the layer mask. I'm not going to paint onto the subject. I'm just going to come just outside just a little ways and clean out some of this kind of foggy stuff that's out there. You don't need to do much. Because again, we're going back onto the same background. So it's going to look just fine. And we'll come right down along here. And just a little bit down here. This will just make our color adjustments a little bit cleaner right along the edge of our figure. Okay, that's all it needs. That's done. Let's now bring our background copy back in place here. And we're going to change the color of our background. So for that, I want to have a new layer above this layer. So make sure you're on that background copy layer. Let's go back here to the Move tool. This is just a habit of mine. Go up to Layer, come down to New Fill Layer, Gradient. Leave all that alone. Choose OK. And it gives you this. We don't want that. So I'll click into the gradient itself here. And we're going to use this one right there. This is the Violet to Orange. Choose OK. Now I want to have it orange over here, upper left-hand corner, and violet bottom right-hand corner. So just take this angle pointer and just move it around so it's kind of pointing up to that corner up there. Kind of like that. You can shift this around to get just the look that you want. And I think kind of like that. So it's mostly down here, violet, mostly up here, orange. That's a nice arrangement. Choose OK. Now we need to blend this into that layer underneath. Easy to do. Your blend modes are right here. Just click on this. And when you've clicked on that, you can then use the wheel on the mouse to roll down and to see what the different looks are. There's a lot of different interesting looks in here. A lot of things you may want to try and just kind of experiment. Like that's real bright, but kind of interesting. The one I want is this one right here, soft light. It just has a nice bit of additional color in the background. So if I hide that, there's the original. And here it is with more color. It's just more vibrant and more interesting looking, adding in some background color. It also helps to separate out our foreground subject from the background. Okay, looking good. Last step, as I said, this is an easy one with simple tricks. Our last step here is just to adjust the values of our subject layer. And for that, go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer and Levels right here. This time where it says Use Previous Layer, check that, choose OK. And here are the levels for the subject. And I want to make the darks just a little bit darker. Just pulling in the left side here. It just adds a little bit of richness back into the image. We'll brighten it up just a little bit right hand side. That increases our contrast. When you pull these sides in, your picture gets more contrast. You don't go too far, it does that. But just a little ways in, a little more contrast. And it's a bit too bright, I think, overall. So to bring back in some of the flesh tones, I'm going to pull the middle control to the right a little bit and just darken that down just a touch right about there. I think that looks pretty good. Adjustment there, and yep, I like that. I think we're good. Okay, we can now come down here. I'm going to make a copy of our background, right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. I'll take this layer and drag it to the very top. We can now compare before and after. Here's our before and here's our after. I think we've vastly improved this picture with just a few quick and easy tricks. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos. Also check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there at the top of the description. And I'll see you next time.